So hello everyone. Today's video is going to be a little bit of everything. I want to do a little bit of uh, uh, repotting and uh, looking at my uh, air layering of my Epipremin uh, Variegated and also uh, some uh, updates on a few of my Hoyas. Um, first of all, this is the iris that I want to repot. I received this, I would say, about two years ago. It's never flowered for me. A friend of mine has given it to me for uh, a gift. And um, I think the pot is too small and that's why it's not uh, flowering for me. So if you're interested in something like this, uh, first of all, welcome. My name is Samantha and this is Living One Plant at a Time. And uh, let's get into it. So I um, bought these uh, planters from Amazon and uh, this is the first time I'm trying these um, so let's start and I have my uh, cart here I made the uh, video on it so if you haven't seen uh, that video please go have a check uh, have a look and see very useful with all my utensils so it makes a plant parent's um, life much easier so let's open it up I hope these are good they're self-watering planters oh my god they really I packaged it well how that this will be so they look like this and they have this here with the cord so we're gonna put this together have it ready I should have done this off camera, but I think it's okay. Just a little bit of time to do this. They look sturdy. They're, they're very sturdy. Let me see. Yeah, and they come about to uh, here. So you fill it up with water. And uh, it's a self-watering planter. Now, this here has been in this pot for about two years. And I'm thinking that probably it should be root-bound, but I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. Not bad. Roots here. Wow. Uh, pretty good. Usually these, if I'm not mistaken, have rhizomes, but I don't see any rhizomes here. So let's start filling up the pot with my chunky mix. I'm gonna put a little bit. Too much. Take that out. A little bit out. I don't know. I don't. I find the pot with the holes 
the dirt is coming out. So I don't know if I should put it in another pot. Maybe I should put it in a, um, a ceramic pot. So let me get a ceramic pot. I think it's much better idea. Yeah, I think this is going to be much better. So there's a big hole here. And I'm going to take one of my mesh um, pot, um, stoppers, I guess you call it. And I got these from Amazon also. They come in a pack of uh, 20 or uh, uh, 50, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, I'll put it under here. Now, I'll fill this up. I think this will be much better. It seems big, the pot maybe, but I think it'll be okay. There. And I don't have much soil. Okay, that looks good. Very good. Let me fill it up. I hope this works because I really love the flowers of the iris. She says, uh, the girl that gave it to me, my friend, she says that it uh, flowers for her all the time. So, hoping that this will help it and uh, maybe in the springtime I'll be able to have some flowers. Wow, looks really good. I'll be watering this uh, later. Wow, looks good. So I'll drench it with water and uh, that's it. Now oh, I made a mess. So that's it for my iris. Very nice. So let's put this aside. So this is my Epipremium uh, variegated. And what I did is, I think it was about uh, two weeks ago that I um, started to, I did, I put moss around the cellophane, which helps it, it's called air layering. And uh, I attached it to a node with a little bit of a auxiliary um, root. So hoping I want to see it if the root has grown at all and if so then we can cut it you see oh wow so it has grown not by much you can see here. Right here. There it is. There's a little root forming. It's white. So um I think the best thing for me to do is wait. Uh, at least another two weeks. That way there will be more a more chance to um, to succeed because eventually what I want to do is I want to cut it. Let me get this on first. 
I want to be able to cut it around I would say about well over here so it's not ready yet but I find that I'm gonna have success and I love this plant so if I cut it here and then put the root the plant back into the uh, leka I'll have two branches and these are coming along really well it's a lot of variegation let me show you the variegation on the leaves so it looks very nice look at that gorgeous and also I wanted to show you, she gave me, this is the same friend that gave me the iris. And um, she gave me, these were really, really small plants. She gave me a uh, stub and uh, one of, uh, and a, uh, I think they were two leaves maybe. So my stubs, I put it in my greenhouse. And the stub grew, and look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? These will be stunning. I love that half moon. So these are in soil. And the other one is in um, Lekka. And I wanted to try um, the moss pole method so I could grow the leaves bigger. Because they uh, fenestrate, I heard, really nicely. So I wanted to do that with this. So anyways, I'll give you an update uh, in about two weeks, maybe three. And we'll see how um, that goes. So uh, let's get on to a few updates of my uh, Hoyas that I bought in the beginning of October. So let's start with the um, silver dollar. As you can see here, I'll uh, try and input uh, pictures of uh, how it looked like before. But uh, these two leaves were like very small and it's grown really well in my cabinet. So I'm pretty happy with uh, the outcome of the silver dollar, but it was rooted. So this was, I think, the only one that was rooted. So it's doing really, really well. Now, another one that's doing well is my uh, Andrulata Wide Leaf. I don't know if you can you see that those uh, roots up here and here see those so this is uh, a success also I'm pretty happy with it now another one this one was a fresh cutting that she gave me was the um, uh, freebie, and this is the uh, Lacanosa leopard skin, which is doing also really well. I had it in water, and um, then after about two weeks, I transferred it into uh, this Leca. Actually, this Leca uh, is uh, I uh, bought it for. Uh, for uh, use, but it came in, if you could see, they're really, really small pebbles. And I wanted the normal Leka. Anyways, I'm keeping it for, I kept it for um, propagation. So I put it in here and I can't see any uh, roots yet popping out, but 
when I did put it in, they, they were they had like small, small little roots. So I put it in here. And actually, I like this Leka. It's really good for propagation. And you can use it over and over again. So maybe I'll buy it again. Probably will. So pretty happy with that. Now, I have also my Peninsularis that has done tremendously. If you can see the roots here, look how much roots there is. I'm hoping that leaves will start uh, forming on this uh, vine, although I, I see it here, it's pretty dry, so maybe I'll cut it, I'll cut it to this nook. Maybe I'll, sorry, you weren't seeing anything. Maybe I'll cut it to this node over here. So, yeah, it's doing really good. And there's more, I have it really high up near the, um, the grow light. And uh, there's a lot of pronounced splashing now. Gorgeous plant. Another one that's doing well also is my AH074. Now let me see if we can see any roots. Oh yes, we can. So there's roots here and here. Over here. And there's a little new leaf coming out. Now on this one here, I uh, put it up high near the light. And what I noticed is uh, too much light on these silver Hoyas. Um, it starts going green, if you can see. It wasn't like that when I bought it. So I lowered it so it wouldn't be near the light. And I'm hoping the uh, Silver starts coming back. Although I like that it's silver and the green shows also, but I was afraid it would be it would turn all green. So I lowered it. So that's my AH074. Now this one is the uh, Callistophylla black cat. This has also taken off. You can see all the roots. Look at over here. My God. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna leave them in for another, I would say another um, month or so before I put them either in Lekka or substrate. But I'm thinking sub, uh, I'm gonna put it in Lekka. I like it much better, my Hoyas. Easier to water and... So that's the Callistophylla Black Cat. I'm just flabbergasted at the... Look at how many roots. So I'm happy with that. I just hope that it starts... Oh, I see a little growth point coming. Uh, let's hope that it doesn't stay two leaves. And the last one is my Nova Ghost. Now my Nova Ghost, yeah, you can see there is some rooting here. And I'm wondering, I was actually gonna do it in this video. I was wondering if I should cut it right here, like at the end here and stick this stem back inside to root because I find I should have done it when I first got it because I find uh, it's like it struggles. The plant struggles if the vine is too long when you're propagating it. But I see here that it's the roots are coming out. So I don't know. What should I do, guys? Let me know below if I should cut it over here and stick that back in 
to um, to have three lines, but it's doing well. Pretty happy. They're all doing fantastic. So that's it for my update and uh, chores. Let me get in front of the camera. Uh, fix the camera. So that's it for uh, this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please comment. Let me know, should I cut the Nova Ghost or not? Or should I just let it? It's rooting, so maybe I should just let it be or... It would, it would be nice, though, because I would have three vines and it would be become really bushy. Anyways, and I'll let you guys know in about two to three weeks on my uh, epipremin uh, variegated and also on my iris. Um, actually, the iris, uh, well, we'll see in the springtime if I do eventually get a flower. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of content, please uh, like, comment, and uh, subscribe. And I hope everybody has a great, great week. See you next week. Bye.